Hello everyone I hope you are doing great today I am going to teach you about how to integrate json data with flutter flow so in this video I am using this project uh, in which I already created the front end part and you can say the ui part and right now I am going to show you how you can use json data there are two ways by which you can integrate json data the first one is API integration where we create API calls and use that APIs to fetch our data and other ways in which we use our JSON data and stored in a app, app state and we can use that app state to, integ to integrate data or we can say that we can fetch data in this video currently I am using a second method where I stored all the our JSON data into a app state let me show you that json data how it looks for this we are using json viewer you can use any json viewer so this is our json data where i have a object which contains three other objects one is profile second and friends and third one is old friend uh, let me tell you brief about this data it was a basic uh, communication data in which we have our main user profiles also we have their friends and we have also their friends with other properties which contain chat logs in this category it only contains chat last chat last timestamp and this also so right now we are creating whatsapp duplicate we can say whatsapp clone in this i created a home page which look like this so here you can see all the json path to achieve this we created some uis let me close this so this is our main important part so here i created a dynamic child so do so you have to use this generate child from variables so here i provided values these values are come from our app state like i already told you i stored my data in app, app state here you can check it name <coughs> it was a J user and its data type was json i can show you how to do this so for that let me delete this one and create a new one for this we are using user new and field type will be json <coughs> and just click on a create button here you have to paste that data that's the simplest way to use json data if you already have uh, that like it was provided on the internet i downloaded it from github so now when we are creating dynamic child we have to provide our json path like here i just created a user new to do so we have to give our json path and how we, how can we check that our json path is correct or not or what type of path we are we have to use so do so that's why i told you to use json viewer like so many times jsons are look like this so that you can't understand what's going on here to access in that we have to use a dot to x to get inside that uh, base object class so right now we have three class three childs of that object class for do so i have to click on i have to type that dot and like now we are under our object class we have to select the profile so do so we are going to write here okay like i forgot okay now and in profile class we want to show all the users that we recently chatted with so to access this 
we already have one more class which was it was a array which contain multiple multiple classes to access this we have to provide its name like i will copy from here like i told, already told you like if we want to access anything inside our class we have to use that and provide the path name so this is our full path like we want to access this friend variable its name and its last chat now we can access by this route so we don't have to do any further changes and just confirm <coughs> and save so let it compile so there is no issue and now in our dynamic child it will pro we only have to cut create one container and it will give us all the dynamic child here so now we have a, a circular image <coughs> in image path we only have we have to select our list data like we already generated here dynamic child so we will select it and here we will provide json path and we will provide that path that name so how we will get that like i already told you we already reached all this part from our previous uh, json query now we only have to provide our child's names like we have picture we want it we will go there and paste it here that's it and now our server already integrate uh, already interact with our backend and reach that uh, path and fetch that photo from there <coughs> also we can provide name here like this it was same as json data from our dynamic child here we will select this name and just get inside that object and paste that name okay confirm now like same as i used uh, last timestamp which was this and here i use a text combination the first one contain the name and second one contain the last chat and to check how our json data is working we have to do a web deployment so here i click on publish it will take some time as our website is publishing we can click on view button if we already published in previous time so we can check it by the clicking here so here you can see our website is published and you can see all our data this and data i'll convert in mobile view i'm using a extension for our mobile view here you can see all our json data and in our app we only created one that one child dynamic child in that column but by the help of that query we can generate as many as multiple data here so you can see all the chats and photos are dynamic which was coming from our backend and we stored that in our app state so that's it that's how you can use json data to integrate with flutter flow and thank you for watching video and subscribe our youtube channel